Hello and welcome to Angela's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. He's Oz. And this is the Roland SH4D. People have done very thorough videos, namely Lou Pop, Andy, my main man uh, from Roland, with uh, Nick Bat from Sonic State. Go check those out. Very in-depth about the gubbins on here. I haven't seen anyone yet just play through the synth engines. There are 11 in here and there are presets associated with each one. So in this video, Oz is going to be my trainer and he's going to call out when I've got 30 seconds on each. So we're going to spend 30 seconds on each kind of uh, oscillator type, listen to the presets and that's what's going to happen for the rest of this video. If you don't want to watch this, we do loads of other types of videos, but if you stick around and you like what we're doing, maybe consider subscribing. We give away stuff when we get to milestones. So let's go. First oscillator type is the SH4D. Let me know when to go and we'll start playing through the presets. Three, two, one, go. This one's called Brilliant, is it? Lush, synth bass. This one's called Will Come In. So this is the new type of synth engine. Oh, cool, and now we're on to SH3D mode. And uh, just for the people out there, I'm pretty sure that the 3D means that we're using just three parts of this multi tumbrel synth, and the fourth now is an LFO. Ooh. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Cool. Can we just say the effects are dope? And the other thing that I didn't realize in the videos is that you can't, you won't be able to see this very apparent vintage vibe to the knobs that I didn't get. Like the color of the white and the knob, it makes it feel like a vintage Roland synth, which mm. is exciting. Uh, this next one is called Sync. So let's have a fiddle on this 30 seconds, baby. Dope. The effects are incredible. What's cool is that, yeah, the sync, this idea of it's not their Xenology synth engine, it's kind of been repackaged. So there we got, that's what I'd think of as if I was thinking of synky sounds. <laughs> exactly that. Uh, here we go, um, SH101, dope. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Cool. Cool that it's poly as well. the poly. Mm, now we're into Juno 106 engine, which is exciting. Uh, and the first patch is called Ice and Fire. 30 seconds here. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Loads of effects. Supermoon. Bass. Harmonica. <laughs> 
But what's nice is if I hit enter, then I can. I've got a slimmed down version of a 106. So I'm getting all that character, and in the presets, what I'm liking is that they sourced them up with the effects, which are obviously belting off. Now we're in cross FM, so hopefully we're going to get those FM sounds. Let's look at the screen. Yeah, we've got algorithms and such. Oh, but again, you don't need to worry about that. This seems like a really good gateway drug. And we all love a good gateway drug. Sound. Here we go. Slower. First one is called Bell 8. One, go. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. Very FME. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> the most FM sounds ever. Very gratifying. This one's called Ring, so I think it's going to be ring modulated stuff. If I hit enter, yes, it looks crazy. Sound. Let's hear some stuff. 30 seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Tasteful ring mod. Dope. Cool. Few more. Sound. Waff table. Let's go. Data one go. Right, wave tables, what do we want to do with them? We want to move them around. I just want to show off something that I saw. Check it out, D-Motion, baby. I hit D-Motion. It's got an accelerometer That's in it. sick. Isn't it? I was like, how dope is that? I mean, absolutely, it's kind of an extension of the D-Beam. If you know about D-Beam, and you'd always have to be really brave if you were going to D-beam it, which is essentially like a hand-controlled laser theremin. But this is kind of an interesting way of getting people moving shit on the table. That's awesome. Right? So there we go. Cool. Sound. Uh, next one. Chord. Let's go. Three, two, one, go! So it's playing triggering chords. Let's see what's going on there. Ah, so if I'm flicking through those sounds and I go to say fade chord, it's got a minor seven. So if you're chordally challenged or you just want to get out of playing the same old chords like me, uh, that's cool. Sound preset drawing. Let's have a look at this. Oh my God. So I'm guessing if you learnt this, you could draw this. That's dope. But we're gonna listen to it. Scribble bass, 30 seconds.
PCM, right. And then look at the mad combination of sounds we've just been through, all in one box. I don't have a sustain pedal, but I'm gonna roll with it anyway. PCM, little short snippets of waveform. So I'm guessing we're gonna get more what we'd expect from a workstation type keyboard, like real life sound. So let's see, first one's called JD Piano. Not Jack Duck's free piano. <laughs> cool, 30 seconds. Sick. Oh, so the whole mixed bag here. Cathedral. Organs. Uh, ba uh, yeah, so we've got harmonic stuff. Let's go back to JD. Let's see what that sounded like and looked like. Right, so it's really playing on the multi timbrality of it. Sound, that's it. We did 11 engines. And hopefully that gave you an idea of how many sounds are in it. And we haven't even got into the fact, I liked when I plugged this in, it already knew that the rhythm part Probably was meant to be mapped to that. Didn't do any, you know, we're talking different languages here. Arturia Roland, all the brands combining. Oh, how, how dare I? Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here, Oz. And uh, I'm hoping that Andy, my man, come, please come tell me about it. Show us the other bits in there. And it works. seems like a new bit of kit. A lot of people have ordered it. So click on the links below and maybe order it yourself. Uh, we do 30 day money back and interest free stuff. So pretty cool. We're going to go get some chickens. Let's go, baby.